Hello, hello. Hello, hello, ladies hello. and gentlemen. Hi, how are you? Welcome, welcome. Thank you. How are you today? Thank you, thank you. Hello, hello, R Richard. Hello, hello, Amilcar. Hello, hello. Zuleima Hernandez. Hey, eh, gracias, Zuleima, por estarme consultando el día de hoy. Yo creo que solo ella me estuvo consultando. Muchas gracias. Applause for Zuleima. I like that. I like that. Eso es lo que busco, que estén interactuando. Eh, hello, Ana Yesenia. Hello, Gerson. Hello, Néstor. Hello, teacher. Hello, Neida. Hello, Delaila. Hello, Rodrigo. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Back in action. Okay, let's get started. And um, who can tell me what information do you remember about the previous class? What information do you remember about the previous class? ¿Qué información se acuerdan de la clase de ayer? What do you remember? Let me have a volunteer. One volunteer, please. What information do you remember? I remember uh, the use the, the word. Mm -hmm. and was. Mm -hmm. and el didn't. Yes. And, uh, the, uh, use. Mm -hmm. uh, sentences are negative and sentences are negative. Uh, past. That is correct. Negative sentences and positive sentences with the auxiliary did and the auxiliary didn't. So today we are going to be moving on and we're going to be looking at statements with used to. And somebody asked me today, teacher, is it necessary for me to give the justification for the use of used to? For example, uh, I used to uh, smoke, but now I don't. Is that necessary? Not really. You can say, I used to smoke, and that's it. Or some people say, I used to drink, and now I don't. Is that necessary? Not really. You can just say, I used to, right? I used to uh, drink. I used to smoke. I used to eat pork, right? I used to, etc., etc. Do you understand? So, Right now, yes. I would like for us to look at the, the video right here. And I want everybody to please have your notebook, your notebook and your pen. And I want you to listen to the audio and um, respond or take notes, okay? write uh, a couple of examples here. So some of the ones that I mentioned as we began the class. Let me go ahead and give another example here. I'm going to say I didn't use to collect anything but I do now. There we go. 
And there is one last way on how to express negative statements, and that is using never used to. And it's quite similar. So let me give you an example about this. I never used to play sports, okay, but now I play every day. So we can also make negative statements using never used to. Okay, so the subject plus never used to, and that's going to follow the verb in its present form. And then whatever complement exists. I never used to play sports. I never used to worry about money. I never used to play sports, but now I play tennis, just like you see on the example there. And the last thing that I would like for you to do is to tell me what did you used to do when you were a child? Did you used to play sports? Did you used to have a pet? Did you used to play video games? And also mention the things that you didn't used to do when you were a child. So for example, I never used to collect anything. Hi everyone. By the end of this class, you'll be able to discuss your childhood habits using used to. Let me give you a couple of examples. When I was a kid, I used to be very messy, but now I'm very neat. I used to have a lot of hobbies, but now I don't have any free time. I didn't used to follow politics, but now I read the newspapers every day. You'll also listen to a short conversation, which illustrates how this topic is used. Let me get started by presenting some structure. As I mentioned, what we're going to do is we're going to try to become familiar with the usage of used to. And in this class, what we're going to do is we're going to become familiar with making positive statements and negative statements using used to. So here are a couple of examples that we want to learn. I used to collect comic books. I didn't used to collect anything, but now I collect art. Um, and I'm just borrowing the examples that are here, but of course I'll give more details about this in just one second. But the first thing that I would like to do at this time is that I would like to have you listen to a conversation and you will learn how this topic is used. And after that, I'm going to start explaining how to structure these sentences together. So let's do that right now. Let's listen to that conversation that I'm talking about. Thanks for taking the time to speak with me, Jerry. Oh, it's my pleasure. You have a beautiful accent. Where did you grow up? I grew up in England, in a city called Brighton. Were you popular when you were growing up? Not really. I wasn't unpopular, but I wasn't in the popular crowd at school. I had a nice group of friends, though. How did you like school? Oh, I loved school. I was a great student. My mother actually taught at my primary school. I always thought that was terrific. What about your free time as a child? Did you have a hobby? I used to love to draw. Later I learned to paint and I still do that. Actually, I have some paintings in a gallery right now. That's impressive. Well, it's a very small exhibit, but it's something I really enjoy. Did you have a favorite game when you were growing up? I used to play video games a lot as a kid. The video games then were very different from the games now. I didn't have a favorite, though. I liked a lot of them. What about a favorite place? Hmm, my favorite place. I used to go to a summer camp in Ireland. I loved that. I got to go horseback riding almost every day. Do you still go to Ireland? No, not very often. Let me start by explaining this chart. First of all, let me just get the concept out of the way. Used to refers to something that you regularly did in the past, but you don't do that anymore. And let me get started by explaining positive statements. So what I'm going to do at this time, I'm just going to put the formula here and we're going to try to make sense of the positive statements that are outlined there for us. So what we're going to do at this time is we're going to borrow that first example that you see there. So we have 
i is the subject, and then this follows used to, and then we're going to have the verb. It's going to be in the present. So i used to, and in this case, b. Very messy, but uh, now um, very neat. There we go. So the subject in our sentence is I. I'm going to go ahead and play with the colors right now. Uh, this follows used to. And then we have the verb to be. Now, this just happens to be the verb that we're using in this example, but it's not always going to be the verb to be. And then finally, we're going to have some sort of complement that um, uh, in order to finish that idea there. And so now let's try to make a couple of more examples. So I'm going to mention some of my own. So I used to, and I'm going to say I used to play a lot of sports when I was a kid. Um, and well, we follow the structure. Um, we have a subject. Then this follows used to. Then we have the verb in the present tense. And then we have some sort of complement at the end. Now let me present the negative structure. Let me present how we're going to make negative statements. So previously we learned that we can make positive statements with used to. Now we're going to talk about negative statements. The only thing that's going to change to our previous structure is that we're going to include didn't. All right, so that's what I want you to notice. And also I want you to notice that used to will no longer be in the uh, it will no longer be in the past, and now it's going to be in the present. And that's because of this auxiliary verb that you see here. So we're going to have the subject plus didn't, and then used to will be in the present. It's not going to be in the past like we saw it in our positive statement. And the rest will pretty much stay the same. Uh, so the subject plus didn't used to plus the verb in the present, and then whatever complement exists. So in this case, um, we're gonna, I'm going to go ahead and write uh, a couple of examples here. So some of the ones that I mentioned as we began the class. Let me go ahead and give another example here. I'm going to say, I didn't use to collect anything. But I do now. There we go. And there is one last way on how to express negative statements, and that is using never used to. And it's quite similar. So let me give you an example about this. I never used to play sports. Okay, but now I play every day. So we can also make negative statements using never used to. Okay, so the subject plus never used to, and that's going to follow the verb in its present form, and then whatever complement exists. I never used to play sports. I never used to worry about money. I never used to play sports, but now I play tennis, just like you see on the example there. And the last thing that I would like for you to do is to tell me what did you used to do when you were a child? Did you used to play sports? Did you used to have a pet? Did you used to play video games? And also mention the things that you didn't used to do when you were a child. So for example, I never used to collect anything. OK. At this moment, do you have any questions about this topic or any questions about this activity? Somebody? Questions? Okay. I would like for us to jump into the next activity where we're going to be looking at. Yes, who's a teacher? Nestor? Teacher, I have a question. What's up? I don't understand when you do use the never 
No, you're just two. I don't uh -huh. understand. Ah, okay. In uh, what location? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, for example, let me give you an example. For example, in my case, uh, I am, I was living in Houston, Texas, but okay. my, my family was very poor because my family didn't speak English, um, didn't have a um, green card. So my family, we, we were from El Salvador. So I can say I never used to receive presents when I was little. Okay. Right? Because my family was poor. We were immigrants. Or I say, I never used to play video games because I was poor. My family was poor. You know, playing, well, I remember that at that time, uh, people used to play Atari. <laughs> I'm old, so I come from the Atari era. <laughs> so I say to you, I never used to play video games, you know, because it was expensive. So we use never when you're trying to emphasize something in the past. Oh, for example, for example, uh, my grandmother and my grandfather were Catholic, very religious people. So I never used to say bad Sorry. words. Huh? I don't know. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. In my house, <laughs> if I say a bad word, oh my God. La chancleta, el cincho, el chilio, big problems, you know, because my grandfather and my grandmother were very, very Christian, very religious. So I never used to say bad words. The worst was puchica. <laughs> what you say? Nothing. I, I couldn't say puchica because it was a bad word <laughs> in my family, right? So in that context, you say, I never used to. Do you understand? Yes, teacher. Thank you. Okay. Um, does anybody else have a, another question? Anybody else? One more question. Okay, I would like for everybody to uh, take a couple of minutes now and we're going to practice the activity. Now, this activity is related to um, using used to. So what we're gonna do is we're going to look at this section over here, knowledge check, and I would like for you to complete this activity in pairs. And then we are going to check the activity together. Any questions at this moment? Okay, let's go. In pairs, you will have five minutes. Five minutes. In pairs in pairs let's go let's go amilcar is going to work with nestor richard with rodrigo ana with herson carlos with zuleima enrique with neida dalia with pedro you have to enter, Delia, you have to enter in the sesión pequeña. Zuleima, you have to enter in the sesión pequeña. Kelvin, you have to enter in the sesión pequeña. Kelvin, you are working uh, with Amilcar and Nestor. Kelvin is with Amilcar and Nestor. Let's go. Thank you. 
No puedo salir. Excuse me. 1.1.1. Hola. Sí, yo, yo creo que la tiene una puntuación de... 1.9, ¿no? Justo... ¿1.9? Eh, sí, creo que sí. I used to... Quiero ver. Pero la 1... Un... Sí, la 1... La uno... 1.1.4. Uno, uno, Pero la 1.4 es el video. Simple pass, stay with B. Ah, ok, hay que terminar la otra. Entonces la siguiente. La siguiente es 1. Uno... <ríe> Porque es knowledge check. Knowledge check. Sí, pero creo que. No sé. No es la 2, ¿verdad? No, la verdad es que no vivimos. No, no, es que la, la 1.11 creo que es porque ahí empieza el tema de YouTube. Now they check. 1.11. Ya voy. Está lento esto. Ok, 1.11 es... Ajá, sí, porque está después del vídeo que el teacher nos enseñó. 1.11. No, check. No, check. Ok. Where, where did Jerry grow up? ¿Verdad? ¿Ese era? Ajá. Sí. Ok. Pero que eh. yo, te, yo tengo un problema porque no sí. me aparecen las no me aparecen las preguntas eh. no sé por qué no me aparecen las preguntas Cuando, ya había hecho la actividad y sí me aparecían pero ahorita no 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 sé por qué es que allí creo que la um, where did Jerry grow no o sea ajá sí pero o sea mi computadora creo que es el que tiene el profe que no me aparece pero las respuestas sí no, las tengo sí. ah <risa> oh. Este, ah, pero, pero esa es la, la pregunta es guardi. La primera. Jerry Grab. Ajá. Ajá, la primera es el tío. No sé. She grew up in Britain, England. In Britain, England, yes. Grow up es. She grew up. She grew up in Britain, England. The third. The third. Pero hay unas que, bueno, yo sí todo, todavía se siente como pena participar. Ah, a mí me da pena. Yo no he hablado nunca. <risa> Ni hablaré. Yo, <la> ves... <risa> yo creo que sí va a tener que, porque creo que sí. están como grabando las, las sesiones. Bueno, ah. Es de, de tenerle. Al final le van a reprobar. Eso. Exacto. Va a ser mucha ayuda no hablar. Ah. <risa> Regresamos ya, ¿ves? Sí, sí, regresemos ya. ya. Bueno, ya las tenemos. Ajá. Uh -huh. Bueno, regresemos entonces. Bueno, adiós. Adiós.
All right, all right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back, welcome back, back in action like Jesse Jackson, ready for action, so let's get it on like Donkey Kong, long and strong to the break of dawn, because today is Thursday, and we're ready to parlay all day, every day, so let's go get it, come back with it, don't forget it, let me get it one more time for the bottle of wine, are you ready? <laughs> that's, some free, that, that's, that's some freestyle, that's some freestyle. <laughs> All right, let's check it out. We're going to be looking at the first one. So the first activity, let me have one volunteer, please. One volunteer. One volunteer. Take the chair. All right, Nestor. Number one, Nestor. The, the question one is, where did Jerry grow up? The, mm -hmm. the answer is she grew up. Grew, she grew up in Greenstone, England. Very good. She grew up in Kingston, England. So I want you to pay attention to the verb. Grew, grew up. Grew. Right? So the verb is in the simple, simple present. Present. Arr? Excuse me? Simple past. Scooby? Simple past. Simple, sorry, 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 past. That's right. Simple past. Simple past. <laughs> simple past, right? That's not simple present. Simple present is grow up. In the question. Grow up. Uh huh. This is uh -huh. simple present. Grow up. Simple past is grew up. Grew up. <laughs> Okay, number two. Let me have one volunteer for number two. Volunteer for number two. Is, is, is she, she grew up in Bristol, England. Okay. Uh, did Jerry? No, no, no. Number two. This is number one. She grew up in Brighton, England. What is number two? Jerry did used. Jerry have a hobby? One volunteer. Huh? Amilcar? It's the first. It's Jerry the first one. Jerry used to paint. Used to paint. paint today. And she still she paints to today. Paint today. Very good. Correct. The next one, number three. Choose the best response for this question. What games did you used to play when you were a kid? What games? I used to play basketball. I used to play basketball. I used to play basketball. One volunteer. The answer, the answer is. Uh, yeah. I used, sure? play, I used uh -huh. to play. I used to play basketball and football when I was a kid. Very good. That is correct. I used to play basketball and football when I was a kid. Thank you, Herson. The next one, number four. Number four, volunteer. Number four, volunteer. Enrique Ortega, number four. <laughs> Se quieren comer mis pancakes, mi perro. Number four. <laughs> Just the first one. What, what did you use to collect? What did you use to collect when you were a kid? Mm -hmm. What is your answer? Somebody, can you help me? Yeah, this is the uh -huh. number. First. Number, first. number, the first one. I used to collect comic books when I was a when kid. I kid. Yes, me too. I used to collect. Um, I used to like to collect when I was a kid in Houston. When I was 13, 14 years old, uh, I got a job. I used to clean the parking in the apartment complex. The manager, 
he used to pay me twenty dollars, and I used to sweep all the parking, almost three hours sweeping uh, the parking three times a week, and uh, I used to buy comic books, uh, X Men, Wolverine, Storm, Cyclops, um, Rogue. And I used to collect the, the comic book collection cards, the collectible cards. And uh, I used to Marvel, yeah, I have, well, not anymore, but I think I have this collection in Houston, but I had a big collection of comic books and comic book cards, I remember. All right. In my case, when I was a, a, a child, uh, I used to collect uh, toy cars. Ah, toy cars. The Ferrari, yes. the Porsche. <laughs> ah, the mini. The mini cars, the Hot Wheels. Yes. Hot Wheels. <laughs> yeah, I love Hot Wheels. Okay, number five. My last job was easy and relaxing. Relax. Used to the first. I used Very first. good. The Sales. first one. I used to work from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Oh, Mr. Santos, le dicen. From Monday to Friday and weekends off. Excellent. Applause for the participants. Good job. Now, at this moment, um, does anybody have any questions about this activity? Maybe you have a doubt, uh, maybe something you don't understand, uh, maybe something that you want me to explain. Acuérdense, no hay pregunta que no le no pueda hacer. Usted puede preguntar lo que usted quiera, ¿ok? No tenga pena, para eso estoy aquí, para apoyarles. ¿Alguien tiene una pregunta? ¿Algo que no le ha quedado claro eh, acerca de, esta, de estas estructuras? ¿Algo que quiere que le repase, que le explique? Teacher, I have a question. Yes. What is, what is the form for the evaluation in the level? Ah, very good question, Nestor. Now, in order for you to uh, receive your progress, okay, you have to go here in this section you're gonna go where it says progress pueden ver progress mm -hmm. everybody everybody has this function todos tienen esta función you're gonna go where it says progress and you are going to click progress yo los puedo monitorear también así que yo estoy viendo quién está trabajando y quién no so here you're going to have homework one, homework two, homework three, homework four, homework five. So this bar is going to increase, increase, and you have to go all the way to 80%, minimal 80%. If you can do 100%, perfect but if you cannot 80 percent is okay now mr santos how do i know if my percent is growing well you have to go to the section that says progress you check progress and there you should see the percentage so right now i have 40 percent so if we look at the course If we look at the course, we have, right? We have section one, all these activities, section two, all these activities, section three, all these activities. Now, when you finish section three, you are going to go to the midterm exam. Yo creo que en Spanish le decimos parcial. Que, que, te dan al, que, que le dan al a mediado del, del, del ciclo. ciclo. That's right. So you're going to do the midterm exam. 
Now, Mr. Santos, uh, am I going to wait for you to say do the midterm? No, no. You are going to do it when you are ready, okay? When you finish, when you finish, when you finish section one, two, when you finish all these activities, all these activities, automatic, you are going to do the midterm exam. You don't have to wait for me to say you can do the midterm exam. No, everybody is different. You're going to do it according to your a progress. Now here, when you finish midterm exam, you will go to section four. You will finish the sections in section four, and then you're gonna go to section five. You're gonna finish section five, and finally, you will have the final exam. And then you have your certificate. So there is no limit, okay? There is no limit to your progress. If you can do section one Monday, section two uh, Tuesday, section three Friday, section four Saturday, it's okay. You can go as fast as you want. You don't have to wait for me to tell you, okay, you can do the quiz, okay, you can do the final exam. No. No, you can move as fast as you want. You can progress as fast as you want. You go at your own pace. Do you understand? Yes. Yes, yes. yes. okay. Let me give you an example. Today, um, Suleyma, she says, Mr. Santos, eh, yo sé que no hemos visto este tema, pero fíjese que ya lo estoy haciendo. That's excellent. That's perfect all right so she asked me questions and i helped her okay so todos pueden hacer lo mismo no tiene que estar esperando allí que yo le vaya diciendo okay vamos en el otro actividad okay we're gonna go to the next activity okay guys we're gonna move on no o sea si usted tiene la iniciativa así como lo hizo su leima Y usted tiene el tiempo, do it. Ok, y si tú llegas a una sección que no entendiste, write me. Ahora solo Zulaima me escribió y me dijo, teacher, mire, estoy acá. Yo sé que no lo hemos visto, pero fíjese que yo la estoy haciendo. Yo le ayudé. Una cosa que sí les voy a pedir, de favor, es um, si usted está en una actividad que está trabado y yo le doy su apoyo, me gustaría que lo comparta en el grupo. Ok. Diga, guys, eh, eh, estaba haciendo esta actividad, eh, le pedí apoyo al teacher, este fue el apoyo que me dio, boom, tú lo mandas. ¿Por qué? Porque eh, si tú tienes esa pregunta o tú tienes ese detalle, el 99.9% .9 del tiempo, alguien más tiene la misma pregunta. Do you understand? Yes. Sí. Ok. So, así vamos a trabajar en equipo. Nos vamos a apoyar. All right. Si tú tienes una pregunta, me haces la pregunta. Yo te ayudo. Tú lo compartes. Hey, Zuleima, vi que compartiste esta actividad. Eh, fíjate que no, no, no la entendí. Ah, pero mira, el teacher me dijo esto y me dijo lo otro y me dijo esto. Ok. Do you understand? Yes. yes. Okay. All right. Let's continue. Uh, another question before we continue? Another question before we continue? Not right now? Yes. 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 I can hear you. Yes, yes, I can hear you. Ah, okay. Eh, en este momento les voy a compartir al grupo el contacto de Jason. 
eh, Jason es el apoyo técnico que tenemos para las personas que no han podido ingresar a la plataforma. Es imperativo que usted trabaje en la plataforma. Eh, ahorita soy Jason Bautista. Aquí está. Este es el área del, support, del área de soporte. Yo en, en lo que es acceso a la plataforma, que se me bloqueó la plataforma. Eh, todo eso no lo manejo yo, no tengo acceso. Pero les acabo de mandar el número de Jason Bautista. Él es el muchacho que nos apoya a nosotros en cuestiones de que no pueda ingresar a la plataforma. Eh, teacher, no sé cuál es mi password. Eh, teacher, no sé cuál es mi usuario. Teacher, eh, se me bloqueó. Eh, teacher, hice la actividad, pero no me refleja el progress. Ok, todo, todo lo que se maneja en, en el área técnica de la plataforma se ve con él. Eso sí, las cosas ya eh, académicas, eso lo veo yo. Do you understand? Lo siento, estoy yeah. usando el teléfono de, yes. de la LED light porque estoy básicamente en una cueva. <laughs> All right. Do you have any questions right now? Or no. do you have any questions about this? Okay. Another question. ¿Alguien tiene otra pregunta sobre el tema? Yo tengo una. Dígame, Neida. Con respecto a, ay, perdón, con respecto a los ejemplos que, que vimos. Uh -huh. Yo estaba hablando con mi compañero y creo que, sí, I used to be very messy. I uh -huh. used to be very messy, but now I'm very... Esto es como... Un ejemplo, yo hacía esto, perdón, perdón, uh -huh. yo hacía esto, pero ya no lo hago. That's right. That is correct. Es correcto. That is esto correct. Has to be, yo lo hacía, pero ya no lo hago. That is correct. That is correct. Right. Esa sería la, la, la segunda duda es que, no sé, I never used to play. O sea, no lo hacía antes, uh -huh. ahora sí lo hago. Uh -huh, uh -huh. ¿Es lo correcto? No, 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 no. Eh, en el caso de never, uh -huh. never, eh, uh -huh. ese, ese es como para, para dar una, in, en, para enfatizar algo en el pasado. Por ejemplo, en la casa mía donde yo me crié, yo me crié en Houston, Texas, pero yo me crié en un hogar estrictamente salvadoreño y estrictamente católico. So, para mí decir una mala palabra en la casa era como lo peor. Ok, era que para que mi abuelo me diera con el cincho y que para que mi abuela me diera con la chancleta. O sea, era doble castigo porque era algo que era que never. O sea, cuando tú le pones el never, es como que estás como que empatizando que si te iba a ocurrir hacer algo así. ¿Do you understand? Yes. Hold on. Give me a second, guys. Something's going on with my dog. Give me a second. <laughs> Se están dando cariñitos los perros. Así juegan ellos. <laughs> so anyway, eh, so cuando tú le metes el never... Eh, le estás enfatizando, ¿ok? I never used to say bad words in my house, ¿ok? Pero, ¿qué tal si yo se lo quito? Eh, ¿Qué tal si yo, yo digo, I didn't? Mm -hmm. I didn't, didn't used to, I didn't used to eh, play video games, ¿ok? Allí estoy diciendo que yo no, no, no tuve la oportunidad de jugar video games, right? Mi familia era pobre, eh, vivíamos en un país extraño, no hablaban inglés, 
eh, no teníamos la capacidad eh, económica para tener un videojuego, pero sí tenía el deseo. Right? Sí quería jugar videojuegos. So yo solo digo, I didn't used to play video games, right? So me, no es lo... ¿Ah? Dalia? Me, encan, me encantaba a mí jugar eh, Mario Bros. Y ah. tan solo una semana, un mi amigo me prestó el juego para llevármelo para mi casa, pero fue la semana más... <risa> feliz. Más bonita, más feliz que yo tuve, pero tan solo una semana, pero nunca me compraron algo así. <risa> yeah, yeah. No, yo igual. No, hombre, nosotros, yo me acuerdo que había veces que no teníamos ni para comer en Houston. Y, pero siempre había un vecino, como vivíamos en una comunidad de latinos y migrantes, siempre había un mexicano o una persona de África que nos llevaba comida o whatever. Y, y así salimos adelante. You know? Y ahora mi familia, big money en Houston. Todos tienen negocios. Incredible. <ríe> Ni pensarías que vengan, que vienen del charco. Los vieras ahí. ¿Mande? Que nos manden dinerito, dígale. Ay, mi amigo, si tú supieras no, que la gente, la, la, gente, la gente que nunca tuvo y ahora tiene, es la gente más agarrada. La que no es la más agarrada, así te lo digo. Yo sé que cuesta. Cuesta, ya, yeah, ya. Yeah. Se olvidan de dónde vienen. Ticha, una pregunta, Ticha. Mande. Este, tengo una duda. Sí. Eh, cuando usamos el used to, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ah, ¿cuándo, ¿cuándo debemos agregar la D para decir used to? Ah, used to, estamos agregándole para decir algo que hacías en el pasado. Ahora, uh -huh. cuando le quitas la D, uh -huh. eh, lo estás diciendo como con nostalgia, como con, por ejemplo... Yo te digo, mi abuela me cantaba eh, para dormirme. My grandma used to, used to sing for me to, to go to sleep. So, cuando le quitas la D, ya no estás hablando como, como cuando decís algo como que era rutinario, sino uh -huh. que lo estás diciendo ya como con nostalgia, ya como que extrañas eso. Ya estás como implicando que ya hay una, emo, una emoción de memoria, una emoción de, de que quisieras tener eso otra vez. Uh -huh. right? My grandma used to say, Tito, hey, Tito, ¿cómo está Tito, mi Tito? Right? So, te, como, como que ya estás hablando ya como con una emoción de que extrañas eso. Uh -huh. Pero cuando ya decís con la D, used to, con la D, ya es como que solamente estás expresando que lo hacías antes. Por ejemplo, yo oh. soy cristiano ahora. Ajá. Yo creo en Cristo. Eh, mi corazón está entregado a Cristo y ya no vuelvo para atrás. So, yo te digo, yo antes tomaba. I, I used to drink. Pero ya no lo hago. Pero no lo extraño. Oh, ok. Uh -huh. O yo te digo, yo antes iba a la discos. I use, I use used it. to used to go to the club. All right, pero ya no lo es hago. Como, es como con más consentimiento, quizás. No, cuando le quitas no. la D es con consentimiento. Por ejemplo, yo consentimiento, te digo, ajá, consentimiento. My grandmother used to sing lullabies la la lullabies lullabies saben qué, cuáles son las lullabies nunca han escuchado las lullabies por ejemplo alabanzas no 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 alabanzas son worship worship music lullabies son como las que le cantas al niño cuando se está durmiendo de cuna, correcto. Canciones de cuna. Right? Por ejemplo, The itsy bitsy spider went out the water spout. Down Esa cantaba ya mis hijos. Ajá. O si no la otra. <ríe> twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. 
All right. So, estas son lullabies, uh, mm -hmm. canciones de cuna. Y, y pues le quitas la D porque lo estás usando uh -huh. como con nostalgia, okay. como con emoción, como que lo extrañas aquello. Pero cuando, wow. ya le, cuando ya le agregas la D, simplemente estás expresando que no lo extrañas. Que, right? yo, no que extraño, lo yo no extraño tomar, no extraño ir a la disco, no extraño las amistades que tenía. Básicamente le doy gracias a Dios que me liberó de esos demonios. Amén. So, do you understand? Yes, Enrique? yes. Sí. Esa es sí. básicamente la diferencia. Ajá, ok. Sí, esa era la duda. Gracias. Ok, excelente. Uh, anybody else have another question? No. No? No questions? Ok. No. Let's look at section 1.12, lesson objective. Build English conversational skills with the phrase used to, which you can use to describe your childhood or past. By the end of this class, you will be able to form questions, statements, and short answers with used to. Learn English phrases like What sports did you used to play when you were a kid? Did you used to collect things when you were a child? Nota que las preguntas eh, que está haciendo son cosas muy personales, con, son cosas que uno extraña, right? Jugar en un equipo de fútbol cuando eras niño. Eh, yo coleccionaba comic books de Marvel. Tenía los muñequitos de Marvel, Wolverine, eh, Cyclops, right? So, so, no tienen la D. What did you mm -hmm. used to do for fun when you were a kid? So, we're going to look at this right now. ¿Puedo borrar las... las... Sí. Okay. Sí. Yeah. Okay. Let's listen, please. <laughs> Hi everyone, by the end of this class you'll be able to make questions using YouTube. We'll practice making yes and no questions and WH questions. For example, you'll be able to make questions such as what sports did you used to play when you were a child? Did you used to collect anything when you were a child? What kind of things did you used to do for fun when you were a kid? As I mentioned previously, what we're going to do in this class is we're going to learn how to form questions using used to. And what we're going to do is we're going to focus on creating yes and no questions as the one that I'm circling there. Did you use to collect things? That's a yes and no question. And then the way to answer that, yes, I used to collect comic books or no, I didn't use to collect anything. And also we're going to learn how to create those WH questions with used to. Let me start by presenting the structure. And what we're going to do is we're going to try to make sense of the two questions that are here. As you can see, the first question is a yes or no question. And the second question, what sports did you use to play? That's an information question. That means that we have a WH word. So let's try to make sense of the first one first. Um, the um, yes or no questions don't have a WH word, and therefore start with did. So did you used to, and it follows the verb in the present, collect things. Did is the auxiliary that we're going to use, and then that follows the subject. In this case, it happens to be you. That is going to follow used to. If you notice, used to is not in the past. It's in the present. And then it's going to follow the verb in, in its present tense. And then finally, we'll have some sort of complement. And how do we answer this type of questions? Well, we can either have a positive response such as, yes, I used to collect comic books. Or no, I didn't use to collect anything, but now I collect art. So let me try to give a couple of more examples, and we're going to continue to use that same structure. Um, 
we want to focus on doing yes or no questions at this moment. So let me ask you the following question. Did you used to listen to rock music? Okay. Did you, I'm going to say, did you play sports in high school? There we go. Now let me talk about creating WH questions. As you can see, that's the one at the bottom. Um, I mentioned that WH questions, we use this kind of questions to ask for information. And we'll borrow the example, we'll borrow that question that you see there. What sport did you use to play? So let me go ahead and write that down. What um, sports did you use to play? Sometimes we're going to have a compliment, sometimes we're not. In this case, we don't have a compliment. But uh, what sports? That's the WH word. That follows auxiliary did. And then after that, we're going to have a subject. After that, we're going to have used to. Notice that used to is in the present. All right, guys, we're going to stop right here because it's already time for me to go. I have a, another class waiting for me. So I got to go now. Uh, please, please continue working on the platform. Don't stop working on the platform. Entre más usted progreso en la platform, mucho mejor para usted. No tenga pena en consultarme. No tenga pena en escribirme. No tenga pena en decirme, teacher, no entiendo. Eh, teacher, no sé lo que estoy haciendo. Teacher, no sé por dónde voy. Ok, yo con mucho gusto. Ya tengo más de cinco años dando clases en línea, no solamente en El Salvador, también en China, también en Rusia, también en Francia. So, por favor, tengo la experiencia para ayudarle, pero no le puedo ayudar si usted no me pide la ayuda. Ok, so por favor, siéntase con todo el apoyo, con toda la confianza de acercarse a mi persona y pedirme ayuda y yo con mucho gusto le voy a apoyar. Ok, yo paso conectado casi todo el día, como ustedes ya saben, yo vendo y compro casas en los Estados Unidos. Eh, ese es mi full time job, así que yo estoy conectado a la compu todo el día. All right. Yo no le, es raro que yo no esté conectado. Si no estoy conectado es porque ando haciendo una diligencia y fuera de casa. Ahí sí, pero yo igual le voy a decir, ahorita no estoy en la casa, pero en cuanto llegue me conecto. Ok. So, por favor, no se quede callado, no se quede con la duda. Pregunte, como dice mi amigo, pregunte, pregunte. <ríe> All right, guys. Que pasen buenas noches. Hey. Bendiciones para todos. Good night. Good night. Y los vemos el lunes. Bye bye. 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 bye.